Who thought a day would come when Neo will potentially overtake Tesla? Not Elon Musk for sure, huh? Well, Tesla will also increase in price, but to know more about it, make sure you watch the video until the end. And you will see why I said Neo has excellent potential in the market. Hello, future billionaires. Welcome to Stock Investing 101. The channel where you get stock inspiration, motivation, and knowledge to become the next future billionaire. In today's video, we bring you a Tesla $1,200 price target. Tesla versus Neo analysis for 2021. So, without further ado, let's dive in. As predicted by Volkswagen AG, Herbert Diaz, within 5 to 10 years, the world's most valuable company will be a car maker. Given how much investors have been bidding up in the shares of Tesla Inc., Neo, and other electric vehicle stocks, it might happen sooner. Together, Tesla and Neo trade about 200 million shares every single day. But these stocks are decidedly not the same. Tesla, TSLA, which went public at a mere $17 a share more than 10 years ago, has been through the Wall Street ringer while NEO made its debut in US markets just two years ago. Tesla is US-based, the high-grossing company with the world-famous Musk as its CEO. At the same time, NEO is a Shanghai-based EV company that doesn't have the same amount of fireworks around its brand, but is heavily supported by the Chinese government. Is that it? No. There are many differences between these two companies. Let us look into them and compare them to analyze which has the potential to perform better. A brief history of Tesla's vehicle lineup reveals the Tesla Roadster debuted in 2008, Model S in 2012, Model X in 2015, Model 3 in 2017, and Model Y in 2020. Tesla sells solar panels and solar roofs for energy generation and batteries for stationary storage that can be used for residential and commercial properties, including utilities. Tesla's global deliveries in 2019 were 367,656 units. The EV maker delivered 499,550 vehicles in 2020. Compared with the EV giant, the Shanghai-based EV maker NIO continues to garner investors' attention given substantial earnings growth. NIO operates in China's premium electric vehicle market. The company designs, manufactures, and sells smart and premium electric vehicles. This drives innovations in next-generation technologies in connectivity, autonomous driving, and artificial intelligence. NEO, rounding out 2020 earnings on November the 17th, reported above consensus third quarter results. Revenues for the company climbed 146.4% year over year and 21.7% sequentially, reaching $666.6 .6 million. This compares to the year ago revenue of $262.47 million. NEO went on a tear in 2020 as it more than doubled EV sales and came back from the brink of bankruptcy. It has kicked off this new year strong, unveiling its first electric sedan and scoring a huge January sales gain. NEO stock topped a 57.3 cup-shaped buy point on January the 8th, 2021. New stock peaked at 66.99 on January the 11th, 2021, and has, by February 2021, erased double-digit gains from its latest breakout, triggering a round-trip sell signal. According to InsiderMonkey's report, 51.3% of traders and investors believe NEO shares will grow more than Tesla by 2022. Their study revealed many respondents agreeing electric vehicle makers in general will continue to garner investors. NEO is expected to announce a 150 kilowatt hour battery pack that will likely increase the range of its EVs to over 900 kilometers. 
and upgrade to NEO's advanced driver assistance system platform named NT 2.0 is also expected to be unveiled soon, which will likely feature LiDAR technology. Coming back to Tesla, despite rising more than 700% over the past year, Tesla Inc. is getting a bullish call and a new high street price target. In a note published by Morgan Stanley, analyst Adam Jonas reiterates an overweight rating on Tesla while raising its price target from $540 to $810. Adam Jonas had also issued a cautious note in December 2020, calling the entry into electric vehicles by Apple Inc. a new bear case for Tesla. According to studies, 61% year-over-year delivery growth in the fourth quarter was better than Jonas expected. We continue to believe Tesla can outperform versus our sector in 2021, Jonas wrote in the new note. He also said the market has chosen to discount the value of Tesla compared to peers despite a range of high outcomes. Tesla's business model can unlock recurring mobility services revenue faster and more profitably than the competition, said Jonas, calling Tesla the chosen one for the Internet of Car sector. It's hard to find a more innovative company, especially in the electric vehicle and autonomous vehicle markets, said Jonas, calling Tesla the best positioned. So, the $810 price target is not impossible to hit. In fact, it's very much expected. What we can gather from this is that both picks have much long-term potential, as they are core players in the long-term growth of the electric vehicle market. Be that as it may, if I had to pick just one to purchase at this price and hold for all of 2021, my money is on NEO over Tesla. This is what I was suggesting at the beginning of the video. Why, you ask? Public markets fundamentally exist so that companies can raise their capital to keep growing, and the $2.6 billion windfalls for NEO was the right move at the right time. You had to pay $39 a share, which was a fair price, that too more than 7% below the market rate at the time. So, comparing that to when Tesla raised $2 billion on shares priced at $767, or a $2.7 billion secondary offering and bond issuance in 2019. Or how about a September SEC filing that said Tesla would sell even more shares from time to time and at market prices to keep raising cash. It should be clear by now that it's time to review the headlines from Tesla. As you might have heard several times, Tesla is not the shorthand for EVs. No matter how many times Musk smirks at the questions about other competitive EV developing companies, it is clear from the market and the products on the road right now that Tesla is about to face some serious competition. This can affect the performance of their stock in the market too. As an analyst at Roth Capital Partners said in November, Tesla is an umbrella stock tied to all other names in the sector. Total electric vehicle sales in China have lived up to expectations, with 2020 November's tally surging more than 150% to 169,000 units. While Tesla dominates the US market, its 21,600 units sold in China are very tiny sliver in a crowded field. So, to make Tesla more appealing to the Chinese audience, Musk will have to sweat it. What's more, the raw China growth rate for Tesla may be impressive at 45% more vehicles sold than the 15,000 cars it sold in 2020 June. Still, it's tough to get excited about an insufficient 6,000 more vehicles produced after six months when the stock is valued at more than $600 billion. However, there is a chance for Tesla to grow in the Chinese soil, as the NEO's growth is from a smaller base. So, in 2020, NEO has admittedly only delivered 36,700 total vehicles. But that's more than 110% more than 2019's tally, and it's aggressively investing in keeping production ramping higher. 
While Tesla's China growth has to be digested as part of an established multinational company operating in the US and Europe, NIO can capitalize on the China opportunity directly with strong government support. If you recall the early days of Tesla, the EV manufacturer sold people on the promise that 30,000 deliveries could become 300,000 in just a few years, and NIO appears to be tracking that growth plan too. This shows that Tesla will have it tough, and the potential future likely lies in favor of NIO. So, for many investors looking to cut through the noise and play the growth potential of China EVs, NIO is an option that sidesteps some of the hysteria you'll frequently find around Tesla these days. Anyway, that's it for today, folks. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments below. If you'd like to stay up to date with the best and latest content about stocks and entrepreneurship, then make sure to subscribe to our channel and leave a like on this video. Did you find this video valuable or do you want to add anything? Make sure to let us know in the comments section down below. We are posting a new video every day with the most undervalued stocks in the market right now.